Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Reeve Subaru in Tampa, Florida. And guess what? We have probably one of the hottest hatches ever produced. This is a 2018 Honda Civic Type R. But before we dive into this sport performance compact car, let's talk about what we have going on here. So for generations, the Type R never made it to the United States. It actually is over two decades before we got this first one, which first arrived in 2017. This is the FK8 Civic Type R. When you hear Type R, this is the top level of performance from Honda on this small compact platform. Now, it's been around for a few years. Obviously, we talked about already the refresh and the update that was done for 2020. But what I really want to try to accomplish with this review is, what about getting a pre-owned one? And what does a pre-owned one look like that maybe has some miles on it like this particular one has. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2018 Civic Type R and see, are you better off trying to save some money and getting a pre-owned or should you be looking for a brand new one? Let's go ahead and check it out. So obviously, one thing I like about the black on this particular Type R, it kind of hides some of that aggressive styling that some people either love or some people don't love. So I think if you are on the fence, black might be the way to go because it really does kind of blend everything in. Now, when we start up front, of course, with this being a 2018, you have the larger uh, waffle iron style. So get the maple syrup out, get your waffles ready. You can make them right on here, but you do have the LED fog lamps, full LED headlamps. Everything is functional. We've already gone over all of these bits and pieces is functional, and that's what allowed it to hold the world record for the fastest front wheel drive vehicle around the famous Nürburgring, also known as the Green Hell. Now, as we come across the front, you have that red badge. That signifies Honda's performance branch. It dates back all the way to the 1960s when Honda entered Formula One. Now, one of the reasons why I think that this is a great performance car to buy is you're gonna have that styling that's gonna make you stand out, whether you like it or not. But because all of this aero is functional, you're getting it at a great, great value and having that ability to go do a track day, go do an autocross event. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you do have that center air scoop. Remember, this is all for channeling airflow. The actual air that enters the engine enters here. There's actually a small opening and that's gonna force feed air into the air box. This top one is actually for just helping to channel the airflow. Same thing here. This is for channeling airflow. Brake cooling ducts are actually located underneath this front fascia section. Now, as we come around the bend, one thing that a lot of Type R owners are doing that have uh, an older one is they're changing the wheels. From the factory, you had those 20 inch wheels with that rubber band 30 series sidewall. You can see the previous owner decided to go with these Titan 7 wheels. This is a 18 inch wheel. So two inches smaller diameter, but you can see that you have a 35 series sidewall. So instead of a 30, it's a 35 series sidewall. One thing I'm very happy to see is these are great tires. These are those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Definitely gonna get better mileage than those Continentals. The Continentals from the factory are gonna last you maybe, maybe 10,000 miles if you're lucky. And then you also run the risk of damaging a wheel because of their massive diameter and the very low profile tire. But here is a perfect example. These are forged wheels, Titan 7 forged wheels look almost like the stock wheel, just a little bit smaller, flat black. From the factory, you have the cross-drilled and fully ventilated rotors. Remember, that was a change that they made for the 2020. So good news is, didn't change horsepower on the new ones, but they definitely changed not only braking, but suspension. Nice size Brembo caliper there, bright red, gonna help shed speed in this front wheel drive performance car. Now, going down the side, you have that functional side air vent. I love the way it extends really far out. And then the black, with the extra faux carbon fiber. Like I said, it kind of blends in very, very nicely. Coming towards the rear, as the air comes off the roof, you have those vortex generators to clean the air off before it hits your double wing setup. And as we come around the back, remember you have your top wing and you actually have this separate wing that's down below for channeling air. Of course, that red Honda badge, your Type R badge. And one of the things that is always been a zonk for me that actually one of the reasons why I so sold my own Type R, my 2017 Type R, is the stock exhaust. Very, very quiet. We're not even gonna do a sound clip. It looks cool. It's very reminiscent of the Ferrari F40, but it doesn't make 
much sound. So that is something that if you want extra sound, you're gonna have to change, and maybe that's a better reason to go pre-owned, but let's go ahead, pop the hood, and see what's powering this 2018 Type R. All right, guys, one of the best things about buying a Type R is that if you want top performance, you're definitely getting it out of that two liter. So that's a two liter inline four turbocharged engine, 306 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. It's mated one way and one way only to a six-speed manual transmission, front wheel drive, the car weighs 3,117 pounds. If you know how to dance on your twinkle toes, you could do zero to 60 in about five seconds. Some magazines reported 4.9, but I wanna be sitting there to see that. Quarter mile, 13.5 at 108 miles an hour. And the great news is your MPGs. You're gonna do well over 20 uh, MPGs in the city, about 23, 24 in the city, and 28 on the highway, and you have an adaptive damper system. So think about that. Think about the technology. We talked about how this is a great pre-owned car to buy if you like performance because all this body work is functional. But let's also talk about how you're getting top level horsepower. This is the most powerful Honda engine that you could buy production wise from a dealership and you're getting adaptive suspension. But let's go ahead. We're not firing this up because it doesn't make a sound. We're gonna get to the interior and see how does a pre-owned Type R look on the inside? All right, guys, we're inside the 2018 Honda Civic Type R. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, how much is this? Well, let me tell you that this particular Type R has 31,000 miles on it, and the asking price is $34,999. Now remember, these cars automatically hold their value very well because they're not readily available, and because so many dealerships, even to this day, have that adjustment uh, market value, that ADM added to the window sticker, that's gonna keep the prices higher as well. But let's see how this car has aged since 2018 and 31,000 miles to the door panels. Now the good news is door panels are looking great. You got the soft touch material across the top. I'm a, I was a little concerned to see the armrest. The armrest actually with that microfiber suede material for the most part have aged very, very nicely. The back part of the door panel is fine. And then you have a small pocket down there to put your drinks and whatnot. Now, when you get to the dash, soft touch material, still looking good. You have your uh, seven inch infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So if you want a hot hatch and you like technology, you get a lot of technology. The only bummer is that you don't have an actual knob. To adjust the volume, you have to use the slider here. And I know a lot of people who really like to fine tune their uh, music, uh, that kind of bums them out. Climate control, same story. Most of it is in here, but you also do have some switch gear located below, dual climate control, which is nice, and your start stop button. Now, this is where the magic really happens with the six speed manual transmission. You got that aluminum shift knob. This was something that was revised for 2020. Leather shift boot with the stitching, still looks great. Nice short throws, which is good. You got a little cubby up here. You could easily take, I would say five Twinkies and just line them up and then just down them one, one at a time. You have your um, R plus R switch mode here, so this is where you could go into your different modes, and I'll show you that when you come over to the business end. You got your number plate. These numbers do not mean anything, so don't think that this is number 19,315 to come off the assembly line. They don't put them on the cars in order. Just a little bit of a fun fact. I do like on the, on the Civics how you have the um, bridge system for your center console. So you got a nice storage area down here. All your USBs and all that are located down below. You have a unique Type R key fob, which is great. Nice to have something a little bit different. Two cup holders for a Super Slurpee. You can actually slide that back and just drop the Super Slurpee. You can see the wear from the microfiber from people's arms and whatnot. Just something to be aware about when you're looking at a pre-owned. Armrest, same story. That folds up, you got a nice pistachio tray and a cashew tray. Keep your nuts separate. No guy likes to mix his nuts. And then seats, I'm impressed. The seats have worn very nicely with 31,000 miles, even the bolstering looking great. And these seats, you may think that they squish you, they really don't. They're very, very comfortable. And then of course you're gonna get the obligatory red seat belts because red means race all day long. Unless you're in a race and they throw the red flag, which means the race has stopped. But anyways, come on over to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of this 2018 Type R. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You can see the bolstering. Yes, it's very high, but the great news is it's not worn. I mean, it's worn, but it's not. I thought this would be well 
the war the, the wearing here would be way worse than what it is right now so i am liking the fact that it's not all ripped up and i think a lot of it has to do with because it's so soft but yet it holds you in figure that out steering wheel with these being the original fk8s you have a leather steering wheel if you go 2020 it's alcantara wrapped leather steering wheel still looking great flat bottom wheel and then you have your dash super clean super precise you, you have your formula one style shift light you could put in the center let me show you when you go to the different modes so here's sport the tack changes you can go into comfort which you're going to soften the suspension or we could go full plus r mode that's going to make this stiffer suspension you can see the tack is totally red you have a 7000 rpm red line great visibility let's check out the back seat and see how it looks after 31,000 miles on this type r all right guys back seat time the great news about this type r is for a performance car a hot hatch you have a lot of usability so you got a plenty of room back here just like your standard honda civic hatchback one piece backs with this faux carbon fiber looks really good very very race car-esque for sure no usb no air vents nothing back here so something to think about if you are going to be uh, bringing people in the back seat a lot also nobody's sitting in the center unless they want to sit on this hard piece of plastic which would also be illegal because there's no seat belt for them but you do have your golf ball holder this is official honda golf ball type r golf ball but two cup holders and then i also like this little skittles tray here you just dump the rainbow and then you taste the rainbow and you're in a type r as your driver is carving corners like thanksgiving day turkey i'm six feet tall you got plenty of headroom in here let's check out the cargo area and just see how usable of a hot hatch this is all right guys being a hot hatch we got a hatchback you just push the button lift it up probably the most usable out of all hot hatches it's got so much room and you could actually put very very tall items in here and of course the seats are going to fold down they're going to do that 60 40 tango very easy to just flop right down and that is what increases the versatility and why this just makes such a smart purchase there because you're going to be able to enjoy driving it but you're also going to be able to use it on a regular basis but why don't we get to the best part if you're ready i'm ready since we have a hatch and it's hot let's take it for a spin all right guys we're in the 2018 honda civic type r left reef subaru the great news is is that so far even with 31,000 miles everything feels super super rock solid the gearbox feels great clutch is still featherly light good feedback into the wheel i'm going to go ahead and put it in plus r mode when you do that that's where it's going to change the stiffness of the dampers and everything but uh if you haven't sat in a type r you really need to because i think it might surprise you with how the bolstering is. I don't think it's gonna be as bad as you think. Um, it really is a nice compromise, especially compared to like a Ford Focus RS. And that's what a lot of people, if you're looking at pre-owned cars, you're probably gonna be looking at a Ford Focus RS. You're gonna be looking at a, a maybe a Golf R, Volkswagen Golf R, a Subaru WRX STI. Um, those are pretty much the main competitors that people are looking. For the price point, yes, you could go get a pre-owned Mustang or a Camaro or a Challenger, but it's not the same type of vehicle. Um, but visibility is great. Even out the back, if you're worried about like a big wing being in your, your line of sight, it really isn't. They did a great job with visibility. And I owned one for about a year, and no matter if it was in comfort mode or plus R mode, you're still getting actually a really nice ride out of it that's not gonna beat you up, which is great. One of the things that I think many people are gonna like, especially if you're not an expert in heel-toe downshifting, is that the Civic Type R has that automatic rev match downshifting. So as I downshift, the computer automatically flips the throttle. But on throttle, it's crazy because this thing just builds more and more steam as you progress and that's where it's really going to come out on top compared to some of the other hot hatches the steering has such a connected feel that i absolutely love and the the funny thing is, is that i if i lived in an area of the country where there were a lot more curvy roads i probably would have kept the type r because on the right road the type r is a dream it's just 
daily commuting for me, I needed a little bit more out of it, and uh, it just wasn't checking off all the boxes like originally when I first bought it. But the automatic red mesh downshifting is super nice, super smooth. Let's see how she handles. On throttle, no torque steer. inch wheels I did notice a little bit more flex than compared to a stock type R because of the larger wheel and lower profile tire but still drove amazing very flat cornering very connected all right guys second gear on throttle you've ever driven so connected so direct and even without the super super sticky because those continental uh, track attack tires are really a track day tire without the super sticky tires I still had great front end grip and it felt super good through the decreasing radius the constant bend nice feedback to the wheel it, it really shows that for the money it's not about a vehicle necessarily that's going to beat a Challenger Hellcat in a quarter mile, but on a twisty road, there's gonna be not many cars that could keep up with you if you know what you're doing, especially if it's a tight, tight, twisty road. I would love to take one of these to the tail of the dragon in North Carolina. Oh God, would I? Because that would be a ton of fun, especially to have a car chasing me with more horsepower maybe like a mustang gt maybe even a gt350 i think in the right hands this thing is lethal super smooth too you're not really waiting too long for the boost to come in and what's great is is unlike an sti or a focus rs as you get closer to the red line you don't lose steam which is awesome it actually keeps building and building and building which is what you want. All right, guys, one more time for you on throttle. Here we go. Feeling good. Handles, phenomenal. Brakes are amazing. You just feel so in tune with it. It's like you just want more and more. So we're gonna get back to Reeves Subaru. Hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel and view of the car and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, been another great day here at Reeves Subaru. Definitely gotta thank LD and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2018 Honda Civic Type R. If you're looking for a pre-owned hot hatch, this definitely should be high up on your list. I'm not too sure though, if you do the legwork, it might be possible to find a 2020 at MSRP. Yes, it's gonna cost you a little bit more, but you'll have a totally new, totally refreshed vehicle. But if you can't go that route because you can't find one, or if you're just refusing to buy brand new and you want somebody else to take the depreciation hit, going pre-owned will help you many ways, especially if the previous owner maybe did some modifications that are right up your alley like the idea of the smaller wheels and tires on this particular one. But if you wanna keep seeing these hot hatch video reviews where we're really looking at new, we're looking at old, and we're looking at everything in between, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Crown Vic. He loves those seats so much, he's actually gonna buy a set to have in his house so when he's watching TV and whatnot, he's gonna be heavily bolstered in and not have to fall out with his uh, bag of popcorn while he's watching a movie. So thank you, Vic, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.